Yeah, I mean, besides that spooky chamber, uh, that last one with the ebony clock. <laughs> uh, in the six other chambers, uh, you know, the heart of lives just carried on. Fever feverishly. Feverishly? Yeah, the Raval went uh, whirlingly on, and at length there commenced the sounding of, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that ebony clock. Yeah, then the music mm -hmm, ceased. Remember how that used to? The sounding of midnight on the clock. Mm -hmm. And the uh, evolution of the dancers uh, quieted an uneasy cessation of all things as before. And uh, But now... There were 12. This is as many as you can get on a clock. Tones to be struck. And thus it happened, per perhaps, that, uh, that more of uh, reflection crept through, mm -hmm. more of time uh, into the meditations of the thoughtful, of those who uh, partied. And thus, too, it happened, perhaps, uh, that before the last echoes of the ebony clock, yeah, before that last chime was utterly sunk into silence, there were many individuals in the crowd who had found leisure to become aware hmm, of a masked figure, hmm, uh, which had a... a arrested not the attention of any single individual before, and the rumor. Who is that guy? Uh, yeah, his presence, his people are whispering, who is this guy? Uh, maybe uh, it looked like a homeless person, like a street person who had run out of food stamps. He came out of his tent, but how did he get inside? I thought we bolted shut those uh, metal gates. Hmm. Murmur, uh, expressive of disapprobation. They didn't like it. Him or her. I mean, it's a masquerade. Could be a, a, a non-binary transvestite. Yeah. And the final uh, vibe was one of terror. <laughs> Horror. And... Uh, yeah, disgust. Yeah. In an assembly of phantasms, such as I have painted, it may well be supposed that no ordinary parents could uh, have excited sens such a, a sensation. In truth, the masquerade uh, was like a wide open, do what you want to do. Nothing too, uh, <laughs> nothing too down and dirty with Trump's crowd. Uh, unlimited. But this question in figure... Uh, Beyond the bounds of even Trump's uh, infinite sleazy decorum, mm -hmm. there are chords of the heart of the most reckless which cannot be touched without emotion. Yeah. Uh, even with the utterly lost in all morality and eth ethics, uh, to whom life and death are <laughs> an equal jest. Yeah, uh, there are matters of which no jest can be made. <laughs> the whole company, uh, the whole thousand, uh, 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 um, seemed uh, deeply... Uh, to feel that the costume and bearing uh, of the specter, the stranger, uh, had neither wit nor propriety. Uh, the figure, tall, not, and shrouded from head to foot in the uh, in the clothes of a stiffened corpse. The mask, which concealed the visage, visage was made so uh, neatly 
uh, to resemble the countenance uh, uh, of the Red Death coronavirus itself. Just up like the coronavirus. Who let him in? Uh, nobody could uh, uh, detect the cheat. The, 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 that's how they spoke in 1842. They couldn't detect the... You can figure that out. I mean, the whole story is in the book. <laughs> you could just read that later. Anyway, um, I mean, this might have been just like okay and endured uh, and approved by the mad revelers themselves, uh, but this uh, this character, uh, he had gone so far as to assume uh, the mask of the Red Death. I mean, he was, uh, uh, his vesture was dabbled in blood, real blood, and his brow, broad brow, um, and all the features of his face bespeckled with that scarlet COVID-19. Well, look, uh, when Prince Trump, uh, his gaze fell upon this spectral image, uh, what was it, which w with a slow and solemn movement, as if to fully sustain its role, stalked to and fro among the waltzers. Um, why did he stalk to and fro? That brushing on. I guess all Trump's on to it, just slightly. You see it? Weaving through the crowd, just a touch here, a glance there, <laughs> a little uh, heavy breathing there. Yeah. Uh, he seemed to be convulsed. Uh, in the first moment he uh, came upon Trump's entourage, he uh, there was a, a strong shudder of, he was terrified by these uh, Trump <laughs> folks. Uh, distaste. <laughs> but in the next, when he got up really close, uh, his brow raised in rage. All right, Trump, look, uh, he says, like, who dares? Uh, he demanded hor uh, uh, hoarsely of his courtiers uh, who stood near him. And uh, who dares insult President Trump with this blasphemous this mockery of the uh, coronavirus? plaguing the United States. Who dares dress up like that? Seize him. Yeah, unmask him. Take that red death mask off so we may know who to hang. Ooh. At sunrise? Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, the uh, specter was in the blue chamber, you know, right off the orchestra room, and uh, his uh, his shouting, because he was furious, the loud. Um, it rang through all the other chambers. Boom, boom. It had to zigzag because uh, Trump is a snake in his uh, interior architecture. Loudly, clearly, yeah. Oh. Trump, bold. And robust, uh, obese man. Uh, um, you know that orchestra. Is that he silenced is the Trump orchestra with the sweep of his pudgy little hand. Uh, look at. Uh, yeah, uh, as he spoke, uh, his Secret Service. Uh, you know, doubling as a transvestite horse, 
you know, uh, you know, you could only get a thousand people in. You had to double up on different uh, skills. Uh, uh, they like rushed uh, 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 this uh, guy, dressed up like the Corona, who'd run out of beer. Um, they rushed the guy, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but he, they. They were just ready to, but they, they, they couldn't bring themselves to put a hand on them. I mean, cowardice uh, overwhelmed all of the uh, protectors, which infuriated Trump even more. I mean, his wig could have caught on fire at this point. And, uh, well, there goes the uh, specter. Uh, well, Trump's there. Uh, he walks over to him. Uh, with no fear, he looks at him and coughs in his face. After which he uh, bathes him in a macabre exhalation. Oh, all right. Uh, well, uh, and he just kept going. Okay. Blue room, green room, you know, behind the green door, and uh, orange, white room, uh, and finally uh, into the velvet room, <sighs> with that any clock, huh? Uh, well, you know, President Trump, huh? maddening with rage and the shame of the momentary cowardice of his secret servant uh, whoever they are <laughs> transgender whatever uh, huh. yeah um, you know he's going to just arrest this guy himself alright yeah and uh, well uh, he cornered the guy <clears throat> by that ebony clock and he he raised a dagger to strike into his heart he got that dagger from Modi at the at the howdy doody Modi uh, uh, festival in Texas yeah he had the dagger and like this like but just as he was about to off this uh, intruder the intruder spoke with such authority that that Trump's hand was like frozen for a micro moment. And this is what he said. You know, the disease is the uh, nations themselves. It's a systemic disease that is infecting goddess earth from surviving. You get poison oak, you get poison ivy, it gets in your system. You don't have any rashes anymore, but it keeps erupting over and over from the inside. So look, uh, Trump, uh, the problem is you got 200 nations spending all their money uh, pointing uh, weapons at each other, and uh, you don't have any money left over and no international uh, relief fund to, to stop these pandemics. I mean... Grow up. From, uh, you know, this ethnocentric America, the greatest or, or nobody, love it or leave it. You know, kissing the flag, humping the flag. Uh, you got to grow up into a world-centric, a global consciousness. And get this systemic poison of the nations uh, flush through the systems. You need a colonic irrigation of your perturbation of the nations. Get it out. Flush it out. You'll feel a lot better. Yeah. Well, okay, enough of that. Uh, so, um, the dagger went down. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs>
sharp cry, yeah, and the dagger afterwards dropped gleamingly unto the sable carpet, unto which uh, instantly afterwards uh, fell prostrate. What? President Trump fell prostrate in death to the coronavirus. Well, then, summoning the wild courage of despair, a throng of the revelers uh, at once threw themselves into the black apartment, yeah, and seizing the uh, corona costume guy, yeah. They rudely uh, ripped off his mask and his grave uh, clothes, clothes of the grave, corpse-like mask, which they had handled with uh, uh, violent rudeness, uh, and they found it. Nobody was inside. It was untenanted. Nobody in there. No tangible form. And uh, one by one, each reveler also fell next to Trump. Oops. Bye bye bar. Mm. Pompeo. Mm -mm. Yeah, everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when the ebony clock, when the life of the heart of the ebony clock went out, expired. And those flames and tripods. Extinguished. And uh, death and despair had dominion over all. Except the earth people. Mm -hmm. They came out in little bubbles, bubbled up around the planet, opened their hearts, helped each other, survived the mask, the masquerade of the red death coronavirus. The coronavirus to the red death. <laughs> There are no foreign people.